Hello everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I am really, really excited about today's video. CreativeFabrica.com, they reached out to me and asked if I would show off one of their bundles they have on sale right now. And I thought that I would come at it from a junk journal perspective, because this is a bundle that I usually pass over. I don't usually take the time to download because it's not what you would think of for junk journals, but I wanted to show you how many amazing things you could make. And as I was working on preparing for this video and creating the things that we're going to craft with today, I got so excited. I just had to share it with you. So this is Creative Fabrica's spectacular bundle. It's fonts and mandalas and quotes and it's really, really cool. So if you're into vinyl cutting, SVG files, and um, you work with your Cricut, your Silhouette, and all of that, then this is a no-brainer for you. It's only, it's on sale for, I don't know, another couple weeks for only $19. If you bought every file individually, I think it would be over like $10,000 worth of files. It's crazy how many um, things are in here and you can use them commercially. So that is amazing too, whether they're in your digitals or in your journals that you sell. So we're going to go through each of the things and kind of show you what kind of do some crafting with me and maybe you'll get excited about this. I'll have a link in the description box below. You can click on it to purchase the bundle and it's my special link. So I get a little bit of a bonus if you purchase through my link and I appreciate that, of course. So we're going to start off talking about the fonts. Um, I only used three fonts here, but if you can believe it, there are 500 fonts in this bundle. 500. Hundred. I didn't realize how excited I was going to be till I downloaded. I was, oh, fonts, you know. And I installed about 20 of them. It took me less than five minutes to install 20 fonts. Um, and I will install more, but I just picked three. All you do, you click on it, you open it up, and your computer will say install, and then you can find it in your program. So I was using Photoshop, and I made a three-column paper here in three different fonts. So if you can imagine 497 more, but I wrote my journal, nature's notes, family time, today I will, happiness, wonderful, kindness, date, vintage, and handmade. So we're going to make a little craft with this, kind of show you what you can do with it. And if you want this printable file, it is a freebie over on my Creative Fabrica fans page. I will have that link below too. Think of it as a Patreon for crafty people. It is a monthly um, support that you give to me and then I add a whole bunch of freebies that you can't get anywhere else. It's fun for me. It's fun for you. And I hope you'll join over there. My, um, join all my fans over there. So we are going to not make all of these into something, but we will make some of them. Don't worry about being perfectly straight when you're doing this. It doesn't matter. You could use, I want to say designer scissors. That's not what I'm trying to say. You know, the kind that have like the little scallops or the zigzags, the specialty scrapbook scissors, decorative scissors. There we go. So let's do my journal and let's do handmade. And that way we'll get a good feel. Now, fonts are wonderful to use in junk journals, whether you're creating a digital kit to sell and you can use these fonts commercially, or just if you're doing something like this, typing up your favorite words that you would want to use over and over again in your journals. And this is what I like to do. You know those Tim Holtz stickers that cost quite a bit of money and you just keep getting the same words over and over again? I mean, I love them, but after a while you want something different. You don't just want to put with brave wings she flies on every journal you ever make. You you want other words. So you could really pull out a dictionary or a thesaurus or something like that and you could really go to town coming up with all sorts of different words and names and phrases and sentences. I'm pulling out a couple pieces of scrap papers so we can see how we can kind of customize here. These are just cutoffs from wallpaper, cardstock, coffee dyed paper, um, and scrapbook paper. This is just an ivory cardstock. 
And I'm going to take my word. And you know, I would do these with the Tim Holt stickers anyway. I would ink around the white part. This is just a silver. This is the Stampabilities Hobby Lobby brand. And I am using Art Glitter Glue because it is my new favorite. Thank you to Tracy, who um, was amazing to let me try that, sending me some. So I'm just going to glue that on there and maybe we'll put um, one of the handmaids on here too. And just glue it down, leave a little room to cut out and then just kind of cut a little bit of a frame around it. And these are great for putting on tags, for sticking into little tuck spots and pockets, for putting on the edges of pages, popping up. Now I'm using silver ink. You can use any ink you want that will match with what you're making. So there's my journal and handmade. Let's see what it looks like on a strip of wallpaper. This is a pretty kind of met light metallic blue wallpaper. I have handmade here in a different font. There are so many different fonts. You would never run out of different fonts to use for different journals. And then let's do the, the my journal here. Just experiment. You can also, I type these in black ink, but you know, try red, purple, green, brown. I also did, this is 30 point font, but try smaller, you know, try 18, try 12, try larger, try 72. You can make big words to stick on the covers of your journal. And just ink up the edges there. So this is very exciting for me to have all these that we can quickly make. Let's try something a little brighter. I have, this is wallpaper, it's orange and red. And this would go really cute with a summer journal, something brighter. Gonna get some red there for that one and we'll grab some orange for this My Journal. And this is a wonderful project to work on that does not take a lot of supplies and you don't have to make a huge mess. And it uses up scraps so you can print this off from my Creative Fabrica fan page. It's already typed up for you. Or you can um, create your own. So here's our little words that we made from the font section. Aren't they cute? I really like those and I'm definitely going to enjoy them. And I have plenty more that I can cut out and use when I'm ready. So that's the font part. Then there are mandalas and they're not just circles, they have some animal ones too. And there's a lot in there. I believe between the quotes and the mandalas, there's something like 13, 1300. There's a lot, there's, there's a lot of different ones. So I printed off a butterfly and a hummingbird. This is an ivory cardstock. I printed four of them to make journal cards. And then I printed two hummingbirds and I thought these would be pretty maybe on a cover or you could fussy cut it out. I grabbed my Crayola Twistables. You can get these at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Amazon. They're not expensive, um, so even if you have kids around, they can use them too, and you don't have to worry about um, you don't have to worry about the tips breaking either. And you can just come in on this if you want. And you could print it on colored paper or parchment. You could leave it black and white, but if you wanted to add bits of color. You can, and you do not even have to color the entire thing. You could choose two colors and just color a few bits so that you're not wasting a whole bunch of time on it, but you're adding a little bit of color to it before you cut it out into a journal card. And I just thought it was so pretty that they had unique mandala designs like this. I saw bears and foxes. I think there were like, oh, I don't know how many. I was going to say 92. There's a ton of mandalas. So definitely check out the link there. I've added a little bit of green and maybe I want to come in with just a little bit of purple and add 
just a little more pop of color and I do not have to color this whole thing. Also, I could use a spray and just spray a little bit of like distress ink or something like that on there and make like a splash effect. I could play with watercolors on it. So there, I just added a bit of purple and that little bit of green. Look at how pretty that is. Now all I have to do, and I would you want to use a paper trimmer for this, but I only have my scissors with me right now, is I'm just going to cut it into a journal card. And then I could round the corners. It's not perfect. Um, it would look better. I can also make it into like a big ticket by snipping the corners and inking it up. There's a big ticket journal card with a little bit of purple and green. Look at how pretty that is. You could make a whole bunch of those, kind of mass make them in different colors. And so that would be ready to slip into my journal. The same thing with the beautiful hummingbird. You can even fussy cut that out and it would be beautiful on a cover. So maybe I could add a little bit of color I have some beautiful hummingbird kits that I've designed um, that you can get on my website and that is listed below in the description box. And I could use this with one of the kits like Industrial Hum or Enchanted Hummingbirds. And I'm just adding a little bit of orange and then maybe a touch of blue. And I do not have to, I do not have to add you know, I can just even do this, like kind of feather out some blue into the wings without coloring every little bit, just adding a little bit of color, go in with a little bit of a darker blue maybe. And I can be really messy because I want to fussy cut this one out. But there's a lot you can do and it's pretty easy to add just touches of color. That's pretty. And then I'm going to come in with my little fussy cutting scissors here and cut the hummingbird out. There's a lot of extra paper around it. So let me get rid of that. And then we will come in and detail it. This is printed on a cardstock. So it could also be a shaped journal card that you tuck into your journal. And it doesn't, it doesn't really take that long and it's not that hard to cut out because all of the lines are really bold black. So it's really easy to know where to cut. And if you get a good pair of scissors like this pair, this is the Westcott Titanium Nonstick. They're the little ones. I got these um, in Happy Mail. It was a swap that I did with one of you lovely subscribers. And it has been a wonderful pair of scissors for fussy cutting. You can really get in there. You don't have a whole bunch of extra scissor getting in your way. You can see already how pretty that is. This is easier on cardstock than it would be on paper. And if you really love coloring and that just relaxes you, then you can color in the evening when you're trying to relax and then cut them out and you'll have them ready to go for your journals or print them on colored paper, print it on a blue or a pink, an orange or a green, and you would not even have to color it at all. But look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. And then last but not least, the quotes. So many different quotes. Now I can tell these are probably mostly meant for the SVG files. So uh, cutting out of vinyl, different things like that. You'd making t-shirts and mugs and things like that. But I'm focusing on a journal. How could we use these in journals? They also have the PNG files or the transparent files you can just easily print. I printed this onto pink cardstock, Bless My Blooming Garden. 
and I can just cut them into journal cards and stick them into my floral or garden journals. I can print them onto any color. This one says, every family has a story. Welcome to ours. I can cut it. And I thought these would be really cute on little traveler's notebooks or little gift journals like for Christmas. On the cover, I printed it on an ivory so it would also match kind of a vintage feel if we wanted. I also printed this one. If you can dream it, you can do it. And I can cut those and I thought about sticking them on the cover or just slipping it into a motivational, inspirational journal. And then Dare to Dream Big, the same thing, printed on blue cardstock, I could use that. So these are just four of the many, many, many different quotes, and I just picked four that I wanted to use, but there's so many different ones that you can do. I hope this gave you ideas. You can get all of these, um, the fonts, the 500 fonts, all of these quotes and mandalas, plus many more quotes, mandalas, and fonts that I haven't shown you for only $19 right now. This is limited time. It is not going to be around much longer. Um, so make sure that you grab that over on Creative Fabrica. Link is below. And if you have any fonts or any of these hiding somewhere on your computer that you haven't used, I hope this gives you an idea of what you could do with it. I hope you have a great day. I hope that you'll craft and enjoy every minute of it.